Okay, so we are using lines, shapes, and color, the elements of art, line, shape, and color to create a an abstract portrait in the style of Pablo Picasso. And so these are the procedures. To make it easier to figure out where to place and how large to place your facial features, we are going to turn our paper vertically or if portrait and fold it in half once then twice and then take your paper and fold it again and you will have created eight rectangular spaces okay so in this space in this rectangular space here we're going to put our first facial feature an eye and it can be any shape you want um, each one of these facial features each each eye nose mouth the cheek all the areas should have a separate should be a different shape so you don't want both eyes to be the same, the nose should be different from the mouth, everything, all the facial features should have a different shape. Here are some examples of some of the Picasso faces that I have done. If you notice that each one has a different shape. Now I do want to point out that I think it's that it's best if you use the triangle for the nose. It just seems to work out better when you're trying to create that two view look. So say if um, I would hide this part of the face and this part of the face, there's one view that that person or that portrait is looking sideways. It's looking that way. Okay, but then when I lift my hands now they're looking forward. So that's where the two view face comes in. Okay. So these are just some examples. Different shapes. Notice my nose is all the same. Okay. So that's that. So we're going to start with this rectangular area here, and I think I'll just put in a diamond here. And I try to make it is pretty big. I want to try to fill up this space. Um, I don't have to stay right in the space, and I don't have to fill it up exactly. But this just helps you to create the large space shapes that we're looking for. Okay, and then inside here, I'm going to put, uh, I think I put another diamond. In here, I can do the same space, the same shape, right? Well, that's kind of a diamond. That's kind of like, what is that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a shape. And then I like to do the um, iris and the pupil. I do like to use the, the round for those that it really helps to create the illusion that that is an eye because they can get kind of wacky looking. Alright, now the next um, shape, that facial feature we're going to work with is the other eye. Now we want it to look kind of wacky and silly and crazy so I don't want my eye to be exactly right across from this eye. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to go over this folded line here so that the next shape is kind of catty corner. It has, it's on a diagonal line. So I'm just going to make a oval there. Then I'm going to put in two lines here to create, it looks like a band-aid, doesn't it? To create um, the, the color part of the eye and then I'm just going to make a circle 
another oval kind of inside there and then a circle. So now I have my two eyes. And I'm going to come down here to this area here. That's where I'm going to put my nose in. And again, I just think that the triangle works really good. You can do whatever you want. I like the triangle and then I'm going to make a, a half circle for the nostril. Come down here, we're going to do the mouth. The mouth is going to be in this whole area down here. Okay, so whatever kind of uh, shape you want to make that, go ahead and do do that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, like that and then straight across and then I'm going to do that. Now we're going to add some other features of our face. One of our features um, that we we um, that are not one of the one, two, three, four basic features is the chin. So over here on this side in this rectangle I'm going to create a chin by putting in a curved line. Now, what we're doing next, um, these lines we're adding now are going to help to divide this space up into different shapes. So you can see that after I put in all my facial features, that's that was the chin, and or you can say that was like, like, like a tie and that was the shirt. You, you know, it doesn't really matter. We're just using shapes and lines to divide up the spaces, okay? And it makes it easier if you take each little rectangular area and divide those those spaces up instead of having your whole sheet. Um, it kind of can become intimidating when you're trying to divide your space up. So I'm going to put in a, I don't have a circle, so I'm going to put in a circle for a cheek. Okay. Um, up here, uh, I'll, I'm going to make an eyebrow. So I think I'll just do a kind of a, a star for my eyebrow. And then over here, um, I'm going to put in some eyelashes. Now, you can't color in a line and so we need to make our eyelashes have shape so um, you can do really anything these are my eyelashes And now we're going to start dividing up the spaces individually. This, oh, the next thing we're going to do first, though, is we are going to outline these folded creases. Okay, So start up at the top, and we're going to go all the way down and through the mouth and chin. So that creates your two view face. Here's one view. A person's looking to the left, my left. And then there's your full, your front view. Okay, so we're going to divide each little space up. This space here, um, I'm just going to make some lines. Shapes, I mean, it makes shapes. Over here in this in this rectangle, I think I'll just make it look like I'm gonna start up here, come down. I like to make what looks like hair. And then I'm just going to bring that down to there. And again, 
so now we've created I'm going to put a line here so now we've created and then I'm going to put a line I'm actually I'm going to go all the way up to that eye there I'm, I'm going to create there again we're trying to divide these this space up okay so now I have created the space here here's the space up here and then here's the space here so I need to do something about this right here so I'm just going to bring a line here now I've created a space here uh, oh let's go ahead and outline the creases going horizontally and I'm going to turn my page makes it easier my paper okay and I'm where I see a shape I'm going to jump over it so I'm going to start here and there's that shape so I'm jumping over it and I'm going to jump over jump 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 keep going jump and that's way over here I'm going to come back over here I'm going to make a line through here stop and jump here stop so now those help to break up the um, spaces also again we're just trying to create some spaces throughout our picture this is a really pretty space I think it needs to stop there somewhere like maybe right there and then over here I think I'll do this and this Fine. Over here. Let me fix that a little bit. Okay, so once you get your spaces divided up, you can go ahead and start adding color. Now there are some things about color that we need to discuss, such as first thing is the last thing we're going to do is outline it in black so don't do that first we're going to color it first remember when we did did our Easter eggs we decided that if you put the black outline on first that it smudges the color so we're going to do the color first and then outline it in black that's the last the last step so <clears throat> things to consider about color for instance you probably want to pay attention to lights and darks next to each other otherwise they kind of run into one another although this looks fine because I did go back in and outline it but like that purple and blue if I had not outlined it that was kind of it didn't stand out the way it really should so think about lights and dark colors when you're adding your color in so that's it for drawing it and so the next thing you need to do is color it.